Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an update for the full view project pan that I created. It is a collab so I'll link everybody who's doing it with me in the description box down below along with the playlist of this so you can catch up if you've missed any previous episodes. I did finish up some items in previous updates. Um, I finished the Philip Kingsley elasticizer and the Alterna CC caviar hair leave-in treatment conditioner thing and I have finished up two items this time around as well. I finished the Avon Magic Effects Molten Metal in gold. I would show you the inside but oh no it was just a short malfunction. I don't know if you can see that's like there you go completely empty. Um, I really enjoy these nail polishes. I would consider getting it again. It's kind of like a... It's, a te it's, it's like a textured polish, so it's a really, really, really thin base with no coloration and it's just filled with, filled with gold uh, shimmer. And the shimmer is really, really tiny, but there's loads of it. Um, I don't know if you can see on the back there. It's really, really pretty. And they're all kind of along the similar lines. So like they're all like a shimmer. I really enjoy them. I really, really enjoy them. I'm not a big fan of textured polish generally, but I just put loads of top coat on and then the texture goes away, so. And the other item that I finished was the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Socouture Mascara. That is what the wand looks like. There is a teeny bit left in this, but the reason I'm saying that it's done is because it was getting hard to use and I needed to go in like three or four times just to do one eye. And when it gets to that point, I'm just like, no. Mascara is not worth it at the end of the day. If you have to work too, too hard for it, you might as well chuck it out because it has such a short life anyway that why would you carry on for ages just trying to work with it so so those those items and now for the ones that i haven't finished okay so first things first then i have the urban decay all nighter setting spray this was where i started this is where i was at the last update and i managed to get down to here so i got much more use than i did last time around so i'm really pleased with that but looking at this, it's definitely not going to be done by the finale. I mean, we finish in a month's time, so definitely not going to be finished. The next thing I have is this. This is the Urban Decay 8 Hour After Go Blush in Fetish. It just looks like that. I don't know if you can see, but I have gotten some use out of it. It's really, really, really pretty blush, but it is super pigmented, so you only need a little bit at a time. That's what it looks like there. It's a little bit patchy on my hand. That was... The swatch that was patchy not the actual blush these blushes are great if you've not tried them you should try one again not going to hit pan on that before the finale the next item that i might finish is the maybelline baby maybelline baby skin instant fatigue blur primer this one is in the shade cool rose because i have cool undertones there is a warm peach one as well but this is the one that i get that's good for my skin tone and when i started it was brand new so it would have been up here somewhere and that was the first update and now i'm down to here i could actually very well get this done by the finale so looking forward to that and i have the hand cream which was the I do still have the packaging. It's this one. It is the Happiness is Vanilla Swell Cupcake Hand Cream with Shea Butter that I got from Tesco's. And I depotted it because I was fed up with not being able to see where I was in this. So when I depotted it, I was there. And now I'm down to just there. I am a little bit further than this line on one side. It's about here. But because it's higher up on the other side, I kind of went for the average. And that was where about, that was about average for the progress. I also have the Avon, uh, this is the Glimmer Stick Eyeliner in Starry Night Blue. That's what that one looks like. I've enjoyed wearing this a lot recently. That's what it looks like. I've been wearing it especially because of my throwing shade. With that, I've had quite a few blue eyeshadows and it works really well with them. So that, you can't see it if I put it because it covers the line, but that's where I am. You can see the line. I promise you it's there. So I have seen some progress now, which I'm really, really pleased about. Probably won't have it done by the finale, but at least I've got some use out of it and I've enjoyed it. So, And the last item is this. This is the Warm Vanilla Sugar Pocket Bag from Bath & Body Works. This will definitely be done as well. I don't know if you can see that, but I am actually here and I was all the way up here. So this is the intro 
first update and now and I'll definitely be done with this I'm sure of it so really really pleased about that one as well so of this so far I've finished out four of ten and with these two probably be finished this one probably be finished that's seven out of ten so that's not too bad actually considering the number of projects that I have going but we'll see if I definitely finish those up or not. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.